to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I... I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I'd only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. A 
loved that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really? And Carmine Falcone knows why. to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that heart, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time you disappeared behind closed doors with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh. Well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. Sorry, Harvey. I was going to tell you. Well, tell me what? Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Falcone away for life. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this 
an orthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. You know you're going to die in jail. <laughs> I'll get witness protection in Tahiti, kid. I'm dying on the beach. <laughs> Talk like that. You remind me of your father. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I need you coherent. Or you would be gone already. <laughs> oh, there it is. That Wayne streak. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. <laughs> 
waiting for you in hell! The bastard had to die! Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go!